Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 3 in normal mode. Yeah guys, so last episode we attempted to craft the dreaded gateway key and failed because I did not look at how much PE was in our Necronomicon. I have fixed that this time. Uh, we had to go back, find another infused power, power center. Uh, about a thousand bucks away it felt like. I the Abyss, we had to summon that again, and here we are. So we should have everything now. My Nomicon is full, 10,000 PE, so hopefully it is good. So now we just need to go like that, like that, and now it shall work. It, it's it's not gonna work. Why is it not gonna work? I the abyss gateway key in the abyssal wasteland with the dreaded infused power stone. Ugh, what is wrong? Is this need to be in like an order? That up there, this down here, us over here. Interesting. Um, I'm not sure. What I'll do is I'll make another transmutation gem. Maybe it requires more than three. That might be the thing. Transmutation gem. Yeah, let's get everything for this real quick. So it's going to need four powder, two pearls, this. Okay. So we need blaze powder. One, two, three, four. Diamond. We're going to need two diamond, two pearl. One corallium pearl. And two ender pearl. Okay. So let's do... Take you guys out. One, two, diamond. Uh, diamond, blaze, 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 pearl. Oh, nothing's working. Uh-huh. Why is that? Why is this thing not working? That's interesting. Okay, well, we'll have to figure this out. We'll be right back, guys. Well, guys, I broke it and replaced it. So I guess we'll see if it works now. Oh, it did. All right. So that means that we can go to two, the dread length. Heck yeah, guys. All right, let's go to the dread lens. So first, we'll just look around, see what we see here. This looks like a weird place to be. There's Blizz. We're going to go to the top of this tower. Is that water? That's interesting. We've got Slime Island still. This thing's like cut in half right here. All right. So let's see if we have our digital miner or where did we put it last? Oh, boy. Um, Where'd my portal go? Portal, portal, portal. Can I see you, portal? Okay. Well, the portal should be around here somewhere. There it is. We're going to go... What is that? Is that my backpack that I just tossed like that? Jeez, I'll be... We'll go slash spawn. And we're going to find our digital miner. Where did I put this thing? I think I put it in the Abyssal Wasteland. Up on that perch there. It was mining the liquefied stuff. Where is it now? Look, more dragons. What is that thing? Huh. Okay. Where are you? 
Well, I'm going to go find it, of course, and I guess we'll see what happens here. All right, we're back. So we found it. It was in here somewhere, but uh, we're going to upgrade our staff of rending right now. Uh, just like a so it requires a thousand PE so hopefully this is good I don't even know really what this does when you upgrade it but I guess we are gonna find out cuz yeah so there's our upgraded staff of rending so we're gonna go into the abyssal abyssal wasteland of craziness and we can go ahead and take a look now at what we've got going on over here so what do we need to do in abyssal craft so we need to get a skin of dreadlands which is dread fragments and this essence here so dread fragments we need to know what they come from so we need to go find some abyssal craft looking things Oh, uh, what looks like abyssal craft? No. What about these little blue dudes? What are these? Abyssal night golems. They look like they would do it, but they don't. Ooh, the red ones are what we need, apparently. And I bet that is the stuff that we need. No, it's not. It doesn't look like it. Dreaded Trunk of Abyssal Knight? Huh. What is that? That'll work, too. So all the red stuff is what we're looking for. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just do this until we find everything we need. And we're going to get our digital miner running for whatever ore we see here. This thing doesn't look like it's going to die for a while. So maybe we can get pretty well on this. All right, guys, we're going to do that. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. That was not the fun. We got our dread fragments, though. And that means that we have our dreadlands necronomicon. So, we'll go ahead and claim this quest. In order to get to Amethal, we need to get this gateway key, I believe, which means we need to get to the Altar of Shagaroth, right? Shagaroth, yeah. The Altar of Shagaroth. Now, from what I know, this stuff kind of uh, gets worse and worse. So maybe we should wait until we get to Draconic Evolution for more of this. And kind of take a break. Because while our weapons are getting to the point where we can use them. Um, my armor is not. Uh, so how do we even get to that? point with our armor is the next question here right so we need to get the dreaded abyssal knight we got one piece because it dropped on the ground when we killed something we also need these dreaded shards of abyssal knight um can get that and more this dread lens essence which isn't horrible we can do that but basically, once we have some of this uh, dreaded stuff, we have two pieces of it. We got 35 more dread fragments. I don't know what the dreaded chunk is. We've got dreaded abyssal knight. How do we make dreaded shards? Is there a way to make it? No. We just looked that up, I think, also. Um, okay, so... What is... A... Hmm... At Abyssal Craft. Let's see what kind of ores we have here. The red ores. Abyssal Knight. Dreaded. Dreaded Abyssal Knight. What does this turn into? That turns into Abyssal Knight. Okay. Um, Dreaded Abyssal Knight needs this dreaded shard of Abyssal Knight. So 
All right, we're going to look up how we get this, what exact mobs we need to kill, and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so I've been hunting down these things. They're called Dread Guards. They drop both the Dreaded Shard of Abyssal Knight and the armor pieces. So what I do is I make sure there's nothing around it, be it full health, hit it, hit it, and then I drop down and I just start smacking it. Try to get underneath it because it hurts a lot. Like this thing hurts. Oh, look, I found the last piece. Yay. But yeah, so that's that. I don't really want to farm that up very much. It kind of sucks. I died over there. It's not fun if you get like any more than like literally one on you at the same time. You're pretty much dead. So yeah, I think we're going to call that for now on Abyssal Craft until we can get our armor upgraded because that sucked to say the least. Um, But yeah, so we can call it quits for now on Abyssal Craft, I think. I think that's okay. Uh, we have the armor. We will need to take... Ooh, what do we need? How do we heal up an Abyssal chest plate? Aha, uh -huh, chest plate. Where's the Abyssal one? This one. How do we heal it up? Interesting. Okay. Well, I guess we'll look. I'm not even sure. Maybe we just throw mending on them? I, yeah, I think we're just going to uh, put mending on all of them. Okay. Yeah, so we'll do that. And we'll put mending on all these. And then... Uh, put them in here, and that should heal them all up, and then we can call that quest officially good, because this was kind of cheeky in its ways, but oh well. And then we can turn them into refined Coralium in the high-tech workbench. Yeah, cool. So we'll end at the high, at the refined Coralium. That'll, oh, maybe even Dreadium? How do we get Dreadium? Hopefully Dreadium doesn't need much. Uh, Dreadium ingots made from crafting, Dreadium dust, Dreadium ingots, induction. Ooh, materializer, Dreadium shards, that sucks. Dreaded Abyssal Knight ore could give us something here. A? Eh? No, we're going to need to make a crystallizer. Which means we're going to need... Oh, man. All right. Well, I guess we're not done with Abyssal Craft. Although, if we can make four of them, then we can make the seeds. So I think we'll do that. All right. We're going to go ahead, put mending on these, heal them up, try to make these seeds, and... We'll let you know how it goes, guys. Uh, we'll, I'll come back if I have any problems. All right. So this looks like it's working. We just had to transmutate the shards into Dreadium. We did have to go get more Corellian Plague Flesh, but you can see that this all has mending on it. We used an XP Singularity Tank, which we used like way back when we still had our windmill over here or wherever. And you can see that it is going into... Our tank, we just dropped them in and it worked. Good. So, there's our Dreadium. We have four of them. We're going to need Tier 5. One of those. And then four Supremium. One, two, three, four. Actually, I guess we could just go like this. Dreadium Seed. Like that. And that should be able to be crafted. Cool. So now, uh, okay, this is kind of the weird part. Where do we put this dang thing? Okay, I guess what we'll do for now, we need to expand this, but for now, we're just going to put this seed right here. 
because this is where it goes in and goes straight into essence. So put the seed right here and we should get essence out like right there or something like that. Let's see, where does it go? Dredium essence. Hero. There it is. Dredium essence. Cool. So we're going to be working on that. All right. So I'll bet that by the time we get all of our refined Corallium set up, I bet we'll be good. So after this is all of our, uh, here it is, refined Corallium. Cool. And that requires this. Cool. So we need refined Corallium. I think that's enough. We need to go over here. All right, helmet, chest plate, leggings. And do we have enough for the boots? We do with six to spare. Quest complete, come on. That it is. Quest complete, now we're onto the Dredium armor. I doubt we have a lot, we have five. Okay. So we need a lot. All right, so we're going to need eight makes two. We need 51 of them, which means you need 26 recipes times eight, 208, I think that's correct. Something of, those, of that nature. But yeah, all right, so we're going to have to wait on that. So we will probably just do it. I guess we don't need this Abyssal Knight armor anymore. Well, I guess we'll use it for uh, a reset button if we need it, but the Refined Corallium armor is now our new home. So, while we wait, I'm gonna take a pause on this. I'm wondering what we should start next. So boron nitride armor. What is dredium samurai armor? What is this? Dredium plates, which is dredium plus cloth. So we'll need the fragments, huh? Interesting. Anyways, what should we start on to next? We have modular machinery, which is kind of eh. We could finish up immersive engineering quest. We could get into these capacitors, which would probably be smart. We're putting that off. We could finish up industrial foregoing, which what would that do for us? So industrial foregoing would have mob grinder. It would give us our mob slaughter factory. Uh, that would probably be okay. Um, we can, well, that's just kind of happens. Maybe we get into nuclear craft a little bit hardcore. Because I think nuclear craft is actually what we're going to be needing to make the cubic, this stuff, boron nitride. How do we make it? Pressurizer. Hexagonal, which is in boron nitride solution. Ammonia and boric acid, which ammonia is done with hydrogen, nitrogen. That looks pretty, you know, pretty standard. <laughs> what? Where does the nitrogen come from? Oh, boy. All right. Well, that seems fun, I guess, to start. It's just going to require a lot of research. Fluid infuser. Okay, we need this. Okay, boron nitride. It comes from this, which was boric acid. Diborane. We know how to get water. Hydrogen and molten boron. We can get that. Hydrogen gas comes from condensentrators, of course. So I think we just figured out one path, right? Boron nitride solution, chemical... We got the boric acid, now we need the ammonia. Ammonia comes from hydrogen and liquid nitrogen. 
So we don't want the liquid, we want the gas. Maybe that will be it. A nitrogen collector. Huh. A nitrogen collector. Beryllium, advanced plating. That's all good. Nitrogen collector. Huh, this is interesting. Nitrogen collector needs beryllium. Which we get from andesite. That kind of sucks. Do we have beryllium? Do we have andesite? I have these little pebbles. I think we can make andesite from essence, probably. Andesite. Stone and quartz. We're making quartz into stuff right now, but I'm sure we can stop that for a second. Igneous extruders also can do it. We can also just... No, nope, that's not it. Definitely not going to do that. Yeah, world transmutation. Okay, so we can just do this way. Andesite turns into... What was that thing that we just did? Uh, I don't know. All right, well, we have a Shoggoth, so I guess we'll take care of that guy right quick. Bloop, 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 bloop. You can see our Supremium pick is not bad. It's just, well, kind of annoying that we have to take this dang Madoc every, out every time so we can vein mine properly. But it is what it is, I guess. It doesn't even vein mine it, really. It's just because it only vein mines the stuff that is the normal thing. So, anywho, yeah. All right, how much Dredium do we have? We got 25. Bloop. So that's six. We can make six dredium. That's not even boots. All right, guys. Well, I guess we're going to wait for this. While it's happening, I'm going to figure out what mod we might get into next. And we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. We're back. So we've got our dredium. It's all done. Uh, We made... We got a little carried away. We made some 1024 processors. We've got two more crafting up right now. And we've got quest complete for both. And we're going to try to make the 4096s. I realized I could probably go all the way up to the 16 mil discs. The only thing is with AE2, it still has the type requirement. You can only have so many types. But, I mean, it is what it is. I guess we're just got to do it. Where's my repair? Oh, man. Where are you? Do I see my repair? Oh, I don't. Where the heck is it? Am I looking at it right now? What the heck? I don't have my repair. Huh. Uh, oh, I threw it in this little machine here. That's why. Doop, doop. Yeah, because it was super close to becoming Grandmaster, and I wanted it to become Grandmaster, so I put it in this little machine. We had it a while ago, but basically it just uh, takes bone meal. It automatically bones meal grass, and then this breaks it, puts the all the stuff in the chest. Yeah, it doesn't work very well because we don't have any GP to make that guy faster, but oh well. So yeah, what we did here... Um was we had all of the, the processors, the calculation engineering, the logic processor, going off of one machine. So we still have to put speed upgrades in this, actually. These two. We added two more machines. So we've got two of them doing silicone, and then one for each of the circuits and the processor. That's going to break the system. I hope not. Did it break? No. Okay. And then we just moved our other two things back here and moved all the recipes. We also, uh, I know you, someone recommended it a, a couple episodes ago, but we were turning these pure, pure surgis course crystals for our 1k storage components, um, because we could get effectively double our output. But we just have so much now that it doesn't even make sense to go through all that effort. So, we're not. 
So I will get that, uh, whoever said that, but appreciate it. And we will go ahead and make ourselves some dreadium. I think we're going to get into nuclear craft next. I have decided, I think. Uh, I think. I'm not sure. It seems like a lot to take on. It's a long process of just random stuff. But from what I've been looking into, is basically you get into the making of machines, making them in the correct order. Uh, you spend like an hour doing that off camera, and then you put one ingredient <laughs> in on the left. It goes through seven different machines, and it pops out on the right, basically, in super simple terms. But, yeah, we have a few minutes to go ahead and get started on this. So let's check on these. Yeah, this is going to keep crafting. But we are going to get into, what is it? We're going to get into, I better figure that out. Nuclear craft is in the, oh boy, Kappa section? Kappa. All right, so we need to, our goal here is in IOTA. We're just going to get into this, right? So we want to get boron nitride armor, which is mean cubic boron nitride. So we're going to need hexagonal in a pressurizer, which is going to need boron nitride solution. We get that from a ammonia and boric acid in a chemical reactor. Bloop. Bloop, like that. A chemical reactor. Looks kind of complicated. Doesn't look too bad. All right. Let's do ourselves a favor and get this. Al okay, we have an alloy furnace. Where's our alloy furnace at? Uh-oh. Alloy furnace at nuclear craft. What do we have so far? We have a manufactory. Apparently, we have two of each, I guess. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm just not holding it. Okay, we also have nuclear craft speed upgrades, and uh, we have boron seeds as well, and lithium seeds, because we made tough alloy. So that's how we're making tough alloy. We also have these magnesium, so we're going to do that. Boom. 10 magnesium, thorium, uranium. All right, sweet. So we're just going to set this up with an ender... Specter. Oh man, I thought I had these guys on autocraft. I do not, so I guess we will just do it. An Ender Specter coil is a Specter coil. We're gonna make a few of these, four of them, which is redstone, bloop and this needs stable ender pearls one two three four five six seven eight all right so we have ourselves some um of these all right where do we want this to be set up we have this whole thing back here but at the same time, I think we're going to be using so many inputs and outputs of this thing. Maybe we should just not. Yeah. All right. So let's do some research here. So I'm going to go ahead real quick since we're almost done with this episode. I'm going to do some research off camera. Figure out what we need. How we're going to do it. And we'll be right back, guys. Okay. So we're flipping gears here just a little bit. Um... This thing is running so slow. Okay, so we're doing a couple things to remedy that. Um, number one, I'm trying to make us... If I can find it... I don't think it even has a thing. The Enhanced Alloy Smelter. I don't see it on here. So we're going to just do it and then hope for the best. So, I've made all this i believe yes <sighs> okay so this 
is going to be replacing that. And we need to set this thing up to configure the IO to be a poll. Ooh, okay. And then this needs to be push. Right, I think that needs to be push. Right, am I correct in this? Extract. No, it's push pull. The opposite. Okay, so the back side needs to be. No, it needs to push it out the back. Yeah, goes in in the top, push it out the back. Okay. Good. So that's that. Um, we need to take our capacitor out of this, even though it sucks. It's horrible, and that's why I don't want it. Um, we'll just test this. We're making end steel. End steel is actually really easy. We have dark steel, obsidian, and end stone. We get the end stone now that we have the seeds. So end steel was pretty easy. The rest of this was also pretty easy. Just need some vibrant gears, which is vibrant alloy. We have the seeds for infinity is easy. We have the seeds for grains, and it's just iron after that. And then this enhanced is. Um, end steel and an enhanced dye balloon, which is grains of pisality and some other stuff that we already had. Organic black dye we got from something else. Charcoal and slime, I guess. Yeah. So, anyways, what I want to do is I want to start working this way as much as I can, real quick, in order to get as far as I can to this. Uh, but first, we need to make melodic alloy, which is pop chorus fruit. Chorus fruit. Let me go in here. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, melodic alloy. Need that, which is popped chorus fruit. Need that, which is chorus fruit, which is this. Okay. That'll work. Then we need to pop it. So, we need to grab this chorus fruit. And smelt it. That'll work. Okay. And that is going to go there with the end steel that we're currently making. Okay. So we need to mix it with the end steel to make stellar alloy. Okay. So we need to grab this. We need to grab end steel, which we have six of. We have nine of, I guess. And we're going to make this, uh, this is going to become melodic alloy, which we can then take with nether stars and clay, which we just figured out there into the stellar alloy, and that will get us going. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to let this run while we wait for next episode. So, it has been... A bumpy road this episode we went from nuclear craft back to this i think we're just gonna finish this up to be honest uh not the neutral steels but i think we're gonna finish this up next episode uh yeah i think we're gonna do that we'll finish this up we might even get pink slime next episode so that we can finish it up yeah that'll work and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed please like comment subscribe a lot of people who watch my videos are not subscribed, and I would really appreciate if you would subscribe. That's like one of the coolest things for me, is getting new subscribers right now. I know I don't have a lot, but yeah, you guys do read a lot to me. So yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time, guys. Oh yeah.